Okay guys, the next thing is something very important from my experience. Too many athletes do not warm up properly. Their warm up is a bit of stretching, is a bit of running, is a bit of rowing. But before our body is actually truly warmed up, the joints actually has something in there that uh, works like a little sponge. And if you mobilize a joint, um, that little sponge soaks up itself with liquid. And this is like a cushion for your joints. And you have to do this before every um, training you do. And this is why we at Team Biorower came up with a mobilization practice, a mobilization routine. We actually dedicate 20 minutes before every training session just to mobilization. And we're gonna go through the basic exercises today. So the first exercise, we either you start from the bottom and go to the top, or you start at the top and go to the bottom. We start at the bottom. The first thing you do is you want to rotate around the ankle. Make sure that your movements are as wide as possible and you move as much as you possibly can. Next exercise would be something for the knees. And um, you lift up your leg and rotate around the knee. Important, keep your finger on your knee so you have it stable in position and you rotate around the knee. You do it in both directions and we do it about half a minute each. The next exercise is something for your hips. Um, hips have to do quite a lot during rowing. So what we do is we rotate the hips, we mobilize the hips and this is how you do it. You go inwards and go outwards all the way. Try again to get um, the largest movement possible, the greatest rotation possible. If you feel any pain, don't do it. Just do it as long as you don't feel pain. That's very important. Of course, the other direction. And the more you do it, um, the more you feel that you become more flexible, you can move better than before. Okay, same with the other side, of course, too. The next thing um, is something you would actually think you only see in samba dancing, but this is very important um, to be able to move the hips independently, which means that um, you really go forward, you go to the side. It's not like you push outwards, you do with with the stomach muscles. So you contract the muscles here, you contract them there, you contract in the back, contract here, contract in the front. So this really is a good way uh, for your neurosystem system too. Then you have the large circulation of the hip. Um, that's the classic one we all know from football, from baseball, from soccer playing. Um, very important here, keep your shoulders stable. So it's, it's um, the, the classic would be that people go around like this. This is bullshit, it doesn't help at all. Just keep your shoulders straight and uh, move around other direction, of course, then too. Okay, the next exercise would be to rotate um, in an eight sling. This is very difficult. Again, try to keep the shoulders straight. The idea is to go like this. You go in an eight with the hips in both directions. This needs a lot of training, but if you can do this, this is very good for your health and for your back. It protects um, your spine. So the next one, we go back and forth. You see a lot of um, connection mobilization between the trunk and the legs. This is where we have the greatest force, the greatest impact in rowing. Next exercise is um, the full rotation around um, the hip to the left and to the right. Never swing, don't swing it. Just try to do it in a controlled manner. Um, you don't, it's not like, it's not like you do it as strong as possible. Um, you do it as uh, controlled as possible. And then the second stage would be just the upper rotation. This is just around the shoulder up to the chest and not the body here anymore. Okay, um, then we reach the shoulders. This might be a classic you already know. Um, very important, many athletes go like this and think they do already mobilization. No, mobilization means one shoulder all the way up, all the way to the back, all the way down, all the way forward, all the way up. Really try to get a movement that is all the way, no half products. If you do half mobilization, you will get half product. You don't want to do this. 
Okay, backwards and forwards, again with the other side too. When you're done with the single shoulders, um, switch to both shoulder movements. And again, backwards and forward. Okay, then uh, we come to the elbows. Um, fix your upper arm and rotate around the elbow, both directions again. Of course, on both sides. And um, then we come to the hands. Um, great impact on the hands during rowing. Very important to really have them warmed up and get our joints soaked with liquids um, in order to protect ourselves. And then we have the neck. Finally, we come to the very top. So we go all the way to the left, straight to the left and straight to the right. This is stage one. Very important, never with speed, always in control. Um, don't go like whoop, all the way to the left, no, slowly, as slow as you can. Then you go up and down, up and down. Um, and then there's something that um, helps a lot. It's that movement where you go um, forward. You really try to, you really try to um, do that forward nodding. It's like sliding the head back and forth. If you feel any pain, if you have injuries there, um, always consult, consult a doctor before or a physio. Um, this is just something that we do. So it's uh, not a general reference for you to do it. It's just um, our experience, what we do for mobilization. Then we go to the floor exercises. And this is where we do one of the key trunk uh, mobilization parts. So first of all, we move the knees uh, from the left to the right. Uh, you see that the feet are not specifically towards each other, they're a bit with distance. Then we switch, we put the legs up in the air. Now we rotate, this works uh, in the lower spine all the way to the upper spine, um, as far as you feel it's comfortable to do it. Okay, the next exercise is um, to keep the legs straight, and the other one goes across. This is stage one, and stage two, actually, you try to go all the way to your hands. Of course, you would need more space than we have here right now. And um, all the way to the left side. So this is a great spine rotation. Okay, and then you flip. So the next part, you lay flat on the floor, on your stomach. You do the same thing that you just did laying on the back, on the front now. Uh, you rotate to the right, you rotate to the left. Um, and we come to the next exercise. You rotate the entire hip. So it's, again, a greater rotation. You see that here, there's more rotation around it. It's working all the way up. Um, to the shoulders almost now. Now we try to keep the feet all the way down, the lower section, and rotate around the spine here. And then of course we have that great rotation where you actually try to be a Chinese circus artist and um, touch your um, hands with your feet. It takes a while to do this. At the beginning you feel it's impossible, but the longer you do it, the better it works and um, the less uh, you are prone to get an injury, even in rowing. If you spend 20 minutes extra every time before you do practice, um, this can be great for your health. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you, Jakob. Thank you. And um, thank you, Donald, for the great camera work. And yeah, well, that's it for today. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum,